Hello folks, Jose here with another video tutorial for WPBasics.org. In today's tutorial, I will be demonstrating a new feature in Advanced Custom Fields Pro, Custom Blocks. With Advanced Custom Fields Pro, you can create custom Gutenberg blocks with just PHP and CSS. Creating blocks has never been so easy. You can do it in four easy steps. In today's demonstration, I will create a custom testimonial block. I based the testimonial design on code I found online. You can find the original code here. Here we have a sample of testimonial blocks that will be created with this custom block. You can see there's a space here for some wording, some quotation marks. You have a picture, a name, and a title. And all this information is editable simply by going into here. You can change the testimony to whatever you want. You can change the author here. You can change the role. The picture can be easily changed here, as well as the background color can be changed. And I'll just demonstrate that very quickly here. We can change that color. We can change the text color quite easily. And this is what we will be creating today. In today's tutorial, I'll be using the Genesis framework with the Monochrome Pro theme for this tutorial, but the code should work on most themes with slight modifications. In order for this tutorial to work, you must have purchased and installed the Advanced Custom Fields Pro plugin. Now, seeing uh, the finished product is nice, but it doesn't really help you that much. So let's use a fresh install here that I have with all the code ripped out and now we're going to stop start with step one so the first thing that we need to do is to register our block in order to do that we need to go to our functions PHP file under monochrome and here it is functions PHP so let's open that up now at the bottom of the, of the code just add this code to it don't worry about uh, memorizing this right now just um, worry more about understanding what I'm doing because all this code I'm going to be putting on my website so you can copy it uh, right from there. Now the code that is here you can leave it as is for the purposes of this tutorial but you can change these things such as the testimonial name, uh, you can change the title, the description, uh, the category that you want it to appear in, even the, at the icon and the uh, even keywords that people can type in and search for. You can change all that later for different purposes, For but for this tutorial, if you want to follow along, just go ahead and leave it as is. So let's save that. And if we save that, and if we go back to our page here, let's refresh this. Let's just let it refresh. And if we go here and we start typing testimonial, you can see that it's already there. I mean, right now it's not gonna really do anything because we haven't put any markup. So let's go to the next step where we add a file group so that we can start creating this uh, custom post, pardon me, custom testimonial block. So step two, create a field group. We now have to create a field group that will be used in our testimonial block. So let's go up to our dashboard and click here on custom fields and add new. Now let's hold on, let's just save this. Might as well add new. And then here, let's just type the following. So I'm just going to go ahead and type quite a bit here. I'm not going to speak much, so I'm going to fast forward through it so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to be clicking here on add field a number of times to add um, the different fields that we need. Here we go.
So a couple of things we have to remember to do in uh, the background color and the text color, we can set defaults. So let's do that. So for the background color, we want to put a default of white. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then for, where's the other one? Text color. We want to put a default color of black. So not two, one, two, one, two, one. I think that's it. Let me just double check that. Yeah, that looks good. The only other thing that I want you to make note at is, is uh, here. Click on edit. When you're uh, setting this one, make sure that you, you can uh, set return values to image array, URL, or ID. For this purpose, you must set it as image ID or it's not going to work. So let's just update that. Now with that done, we can move on to the next step. So the next step is to add code that will render our block. So let's go back to our text editor. And what we need to do here is create a couple of directories. So click on uh, Monochrome Pro and we're going to add a directory here. And we're going to call that uh, template dash parts. Okay. And here it is there. And within that one, create another directory called blocks. And inside that directory, another one called testimonial. And finally, a file called testimonial monial.php and then we just need to add this code to it so we so uh, what we want to look at here is mainly the markup here we have the all the information for this testimonial you have the block quotes you have the image you have the author and so on and so forth also there's some inline styling and th these uh, are this is code so that it picks up the defaults or the input from our post. Now again, don't worry about uh, memorizing all this. It's all going to be put on the on the website. Just to add it and uh, uh, to your website or to your text editor and save it. And so let me do that now. Actually, also let's save it. So let's go back to our editor and to our post. And let's go in here. And let's try. So here's the, you know, let's start start from scratch. Let me delete that. So let's add a new post. I mean, new block, pardon me. So here we have this information. So let me just start adding some information here. Let me put the, some text there. You can see it appears here. Let me put the author's name enters there and they put the the role it's there let's add an image let's add this guy and let's see if we can do some coloring actually before we even do the coloring you can see that it's there the information comes up but it doesn't look very pretty right now because we have to still add the CSS and that's what we're going to do next. So now the CSS. So go ahead back to your text editor. Like where's mine? Here it is. And what we want to do is add a file called testimonial CSS right in here to the testimonial uh, directory. So right click on it. New file. And let's call it testimonial.css oops just say okay and right now it's empty so we're going to add some code 
Now go ahead and add this code to it. Uh, once again, don't worry about trying to copy all this code because there's a lot of it. I'm going to paste all this code on my website, wpbasis.org, and you can get it from there. But uh, let's save that now. And let's go back to our, our WordPress site. And let's go to our, actually here, let's view our post. Save it first. Let's view the post. You can see that even though we have the code there, nothing's happening. That's because uh, WordPress doesn't recognize the code yet because we have to unqueue the code. So let's do that now. We're going to unqueue that uh, CSS file that we just created. So let's go to our uh, functions PHP file. And we're looking for a site somewhere in the line, somewhere around line 83, I think. Somewhere around there. Yeah, see, this is where um, monochrome unqueues all its other uh, all its other styles and scripts. So let's, let's just use this, make some space there, and just paste this code there. And uh, let me just make some room here. There it is. So that's the whole code right there. And once again, don't worry about memorizing it. I'll put that on the website as well. So let's save that, see what happened. Now let's refresh this. And now you can see that uh, it's picking up the default styles. But if we go here and we refresh this, nothing's happening. Well, that's because uh, with Gutenberg blocks, you have to put the code in two places. You also have to put this code in the area that handles the CSS for here. So let's do that now. So let's go back to our um, text editor here, and we need to find a file here in monochrome. It's under lib, I think. Let me just find it. Oh, that's right. It's under Gutenberg here, under lib, then Gutenberg, and then you have style editor CSS. So let's just go ahead and open that. And then let's go to the end of the file. You can see here Atomic Blocks has their stuff and so on and so forth. So let's add our code to it. You know what? Let's copy this thing here. And starting here. And let's just put it uh, ACF. testimonial blocks. So let's save that and let's go back now to uh, to here and let's refresh it. And now we can see that the CSS is picking up and now we can illustrate here that we can do anything we want. We can change the background color. Let's say we want it purple. And now because it's purple, this black text isn't good. So we can change the color here. And there you have it. And now if you wanted to add this three of them, you can easily do that too. So let's create a new. So let's go ahead and add some columns. Here we go. So here we get to choose how many columns once we can add here one testimonial. Okay. Okay, here we go. So let's say we wanted three. So there's three testimonials. So I'm going to just fast forward through this so that you can see what I do. Now let's go to the front and see what we have there. Let's refresh it. 
And there we go. This guy didn't put anything at the bottom frame, so let's fix that now. Let's change this color. Let's change this. Okay. Let's make this guy different too. Say so he wants to be green or blue. And then this one. Say background color to maybe a greenish, darker one. And that's good. Let's update that. Let's refresh. And there you have it, a custom testimonial block. That wasn't so painful, was it? Well, thank you for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to like this tutorial and subscribe to my channel to be notified when new content is added. And also don't forget to visit my webpage, wpbasics.org, for other great tutorials. Thanks, and bye for now.